and nearly six years after a deadly explosion shattered the city of West, hundreds came together today to dedicate a memorial for the lives lost. Fox 44 Shaquille Amari was at the dedication ceremony with how the storms affected the big event. Today's ceremony was supposed to be held outside Parker's Park, but due to heavy rain, it was moved to the West High School Auditorium, where many gathered to see and hear about the project. Some say they're happy there's now a physical place to reflect. Today, friends, family, and well-wishers came together at West High School to remember the fallen heroes of the tragic West explosion. In their honor, a memorial at Parker's Park will be dedicated nearly 300 feet from the explosion site. Rose Kalor, a longtime West resident, says this is significant. It is an opportunity to honor those that we lost that day and um, to have a beautiful place in the, in, the, in the community to sit and reflect. In 2013, a blast at a fertilizer plant claimed the lives of 15 people. A dozen of them were first responders. Governor Greg Abbott says the memorial is an ideal place to pay homage. It's a, a perfect way uh, to capture the power and the vitality of those who risked their lives to save the lives of others. And it's a way that these heroes will forever be remembered. The memorial, costing about $300,000, was mostly funded through donations. One member of the planning committee says it was all hard work. It took a lot of uh, just thought process and a lot of detail to go into it to, to have the memorial like we do now. Paula says he has high expectations for the site. My hope is that uh, one, we're definitely going to be able to take care of it and it allows us to reflect. Every time that we have a memorial or something like this, it just brings back all those thoughts and feelings all over again. The memorial is now open for anyone who wishes to pay their respects in the studio. Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.